take a decent video now, given that um, I have a little stand and I got it clips. So, yeah, I um, I kiss myself <laughs> rather than, you know, for my lipstick. So that's what's going to happen. And I'm going to do my nails while I'm listening to one of my songs with uh, and this song is about watching telenovelas which I'm wondering um, if in um, in Mexico I need to ask somebody who watches Univision I don't have a TV so I can't I can't watch Univision Unless it's online, I should check. But um, just to see if um, Mexico is at all addressing the fact that people around the world are not being able to pay rent or eat. I don't know if the telenovelas are going to get into that um, or, or what. I'm hoping so. But my song is about uh, a guy that I know who... Um, he would work online making websites, but would be watching the telenovelas every night. And um, so it's about him and the fact that he had a really hard time um, having relationships. I mean, our relationship was very non-committal for 15 years, so it was a long time. And um, and uh, so, um, yeah, it's kind of, the song is a little bit about how someone can um live through the 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 latin soap operas to live through the soap operas rather than to actually live their lives so but um yeah it's one of our most popular songs so i'm gonna play it and do my do my nails at the same time pretty proud of it. It's a one-take wonder. We said we're going to write a song about telenovelas. I didn't have any words. Here they come. A lot of the songs would start out this way. I'm trying to find my key and my melody and then just go for it. able to practice singing so I'm really terrible. <clears throat> guitar, killer solo, all in one take. 
I think we should get back together and do some more. Got some on the curtain. Ah. Testy little thing I'm looking for. I'm doing my nails while listening to, trying to sing along with my song, Telenovelas. Um, 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 um. And at 3 30, I want to watch Richard Rance, who is my friend, who is on public access TV. And uh, I hardly ever see his show. Oh, song's almost over. It went by fast. Poop. Okay, here we go. Good doing this. Oh, oh my feet go. Oh. Next, I'm going to do this color. A little bit of glitter. Okay, so that was our telenovelas. We're going to do Lone Star? No. We're going to do Kombucha. This is about the politicians and please open your hand I want to see you smile I believe you're crying 
this moment. Don't show anyone, don't tell anyone, your heart is breaking. Sick I say, sick I Go out for shame. Oh. 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 I like to Is about ten o'clock. PM now. Not gonna do flip for the papa. Um might watch a person. Why not? For the security guards. I'll do one more. Now I'm gonna use the pen.
I'm gonna play my guitar soon. Don't touch the sky because there's no sky. Did you come to When we did this song, I started crying. And here it is. Another song, I'm gonna change my voice a little bit. I'm gonna watch Richard Rats for a little bit here. Okay. I'm just watching this little music video. Okay. I need to 
anymore. I take my mind off of some of the negative thoughts I've had lately. Which I, it's not good of me to have these horrible thoughts. I think I've been doing public access TV for too long. A higher proportion of assets owned by the government there. And, you know, they Hi, take care of the Nick. population. They're my friends. Yeah. They don't point out that, you know, they like right, to say. Right. And Venezuela is a very complex situation. Yes. Uh, and, in fact, part of it is uh, before, um, before the current president, Maduro, took over, they had um, the former president was president, uh, I wish I remembered his name. This is uh, from February case, 13th. Yeah, there, yeah, oh, was, the uh, week of uh, Valentine's Day, but I think Valentine's Day was Friday, and this show's on Wednesday, so I think they put right, the wrong right, date right, on there. Right. That doesn't mean that the U.S. has to come in and invade, right. you know, which is what the current administration is uh, right. kind of saying that they want to do. And they brought in Elliot Abrams, mm -hmm. who's, who's uh, that? the old... Uh, I don't know what you're talking Ron about. Right. And he was convicted, actually. See, uh, Richard knows all this stuff. Congress I don't know all this Ron stuff. Contra. And Rick, Nick, and, and Richard, they know all this stuff. By, they follow uh, American politics. George Bush. Right. And, of course, George Bush was leading, or taking part in leading the Iran-Contra operation from the White House as vice president. And then when he became president, he went ahead and pardoned his pals, Oliver North and right, Elliot right, Abrams. Right, right, exactly. And uh, now Abrams has been rehired. And, so, and uh, Oliver North even did some Disney stuff the way <laughs> Brahms did. Um, after the, Very good, uh, Nick. Believe it or not. Disney. Early 90s. Oh, but I wanted to read something uh, here about, uh, it says, uh, Venezuela is now at a tipping point. Uh, the army is waiting for signals from abroad, and when the perception spreads that the ruler is a tyrant, military discipline will vanish. Um... Where does, it, where does it say this? And uh, it's it's one of the uh, ads from uh, one of the papers in Spain. And it says the democracy of the world well, must send an unequivocal it? message uh, that he is president. But uh, it's it's kind of like a facade. He's not really for the people. And like you said, he's, well, he's you not, know. and that's true. So. It's funny. He, he has kind of the same kind of characteristics as Obama. Uh, he kind of almost looks like he could be related in the... Uh, that, that's what first struck me when I oh, saw Oh, Nick. Him. You know, Nick is yeah. from Ohio. Yeah. Anybody who's or, got I mean, non-white uh, skin, uh, he does not understand. Guado, Guado looks like Obama. I'm sorry. Oh, Guado. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Guado, right. the, uh, the, uh, sorry, Nick. Uh, that is true. President that, uh, right. That the U.S. And is demanding get recognized. Right. The, uh, and although I did hear a one of the pundits say that there it's not entirely unconstitutional what Guaido did. Mm -hmm. uh, you can show it. Right. I can get President permission from them. For some mm -hmm. I'm some watching dumbass Bayback. But and this is the Richard Rant show with my friends. Richard Rant is one of my friends. There, he's doing a podcast right now because right. Maduro's government lacks legitimacy. he's not right, getting... Right. He doesn't want to do these the Zoom, these Zoom the meetings. Um... Has um Unfortunately, I'd rather you know, see him, but he's doing podcasts, election. and I need right, to watch. Right. I need to listen in. So he's doing but, them with uh, Nick, who's from the band Galaxy Chamber. Nick is the right. singer, and you know, um, with, uh, along with, with his Guaro wife uh, in, Crystal, like, uh, plays bass. Focus on making it less Wild West and probably taking away, uh, well, you know, Guido, gun regulations and things. And Guido is America's man. Right. He's America's man, mm -hmm. and America paid him off. All right. right. Uh, the U.S. government they usually take gave calls, but there are no calls. control over Venezuelan assets in the U.S., mm -hmm. which includes a major oil company called Citgo. Citgo, right. Yeah, and that's the Venezuelan national oil company. And so, you know, how, how legal is that? I have a very good friend that? from Venezuela. Right, yeah, right, right. That the U.S. can just say, Whom I've known since the punk oh, days. Well, declare that another country's government is illegitimate 
And hey, Michael Mohican, nice to uh, see you, Michael. I should and, tell uh, the truth well, about her. I don't know if she can talk on American TV, Iran. though. I mean, putting in these, you know, uh, Saddam Hussein was like that in the 80s. And, you know, uh, we'll use them and then use them the other way when it's convenient. But, yeah, who are we to do this? Yeah, and to, and to take assets, a foreign com country's assets, and mm -hmm. just say, hey, you know, actually, we don't think that the leader should have control over it, so we're going to give control to this guy that we like better. Right. And that's that's the type of thing that would give other countries pause right, about right. investing their assets in the U.S. Exactly. exactly. Uh, on the other hand, it is good to take sanctions against Russian oligarchs who are laundering their money here, mm -hmm. uh, like the ones who've been working with the Trump administration. Mm -hmm. um, and and uh, Paul Manafort is working for, it does make sense to take sanctions against them. I wish I knew who so, you guys were talking about. I really have no idea. But, you know, we got to be careful about that. And it's a slippery slope, and I even hate that term, but it is. <laughs> yeah. And slippery slope. Interfering in foreign countries' <laughs> affairs is something that, for the most part, shouldn't be done. Right, right, and yeah. Boy, right. do we complain. God, right damn so right. Right. The Russians come in and start to mess the, with the our people elections. are just... Or at least most of us complain. ...would be prisoners are, of this... You know, yeah, I mean... It, worldwide it's kind of interference. Kind of ...for the demographic of people who... ...profiteering. Whether they really... They probably did vote for Trump or the... the you know, the that demographic who is very nationalistic and very, like, America first. And it must be a conundrum for them that... Russia, who's been like our pitted enemy, actually helped to get this guy elected who's in now. And it just, I mean. Well, a lot of, I mean, they'll rationalize anything. <laughs> right. you know? They're like, well, we should get closer to Russia, you know? Uh -huh. Let's uh -huh. have a better relationship with Russia. Uh, uh, Russia? Yeah. What's Russia? Uh -huh. But. Uh, Is it a so, yeah, form it's of kind of weird. I guess in closing, you'd say like uh, uh, Maduro, like got the power uh, questionably but like it's it seems more organic yeah. that he should be in power because it's more from them where uh, yeah, Guido is. is kind of domesticating things but he's our guy and he's in there because of our uh, uh, you know I don't like to use it I'm going to turn this off I mean he's the he's